Don't forget to subscribe to Bag O'Day Crochet. You can subscribe by clicking this red button right here. And don't forget to click this little bell right there next to it. That way you'll always be notified whenever Bag O'Day puts on a new video. Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this blanket here. It measures approximately 35, 35 and a half inches long by about 27 inches wide. So that's the size. Of course, you can adjust that if you like. There's what the stitch looks like. I think it's a very pretty little shell pattern or cluster pattern. And then I just put uh, just a plain single crochet border on it around the edge. So it's actually not too extremely hard. So let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, for this project, I am using a Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. It is a 50% uh, polyester, 50% cotton blend. It is classified as a lightweight three. Now you do not have to use this yarn, but my suggestion would be if you do not use this yarn, I would use a medium four weight because I always consider this a four weight yarn. So if you're not, if you choose not to use this yarn, which is fine, any medium four weight yarn will work. Um, it's seven ounces or 200 grams or 392 yards per cake. And I went through two and a half cakes. So you're gonna need about probably 950 to 1000 yards of your main color and then the white around the edge is optional but i used the same brand of yarn <clears throat> and you're not going to need very much of this 10 yards probably just a little bit to, you know one row of single crochet this color is called whipped cream and i'm sorry this one is called lovey dovey and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook now this stitch is done in a multiple of five plus two in case you want to make your blanket bigger or smaller or use this stitch for something else. Now following my pattern, I started out with a chain of 112. I'm going to show you on a little bit smaller of a scale, but on you start out with a chain of 112. Now once you get your chain of 112 finished, you want to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Just like that. Now we're gonna start the repeat for the rest of this row. So we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And we're gonna work four double crochet together over the next four stitches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. And then we will yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. Again, we want to do that over four stitches. So that was our first one. We're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. So that was two. Again, we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two on our hook. One more time, we will yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two on our hook. You can see we went through four stitches. We'll have five loops on our hook, yarn over and go through all five loops, and then chain one, and then we will do one single crochet into the next stitch. Just like that. Now we're going to repeat what we just did again. So we'll start by chaining three. One, two, three. And we're going to work our uh, double crochet four together over the next four stitches. So we will yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. Remember you want to do that over four stitches. So that was one. Again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, Yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. That's two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two loops on our hook. One more time, we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two loops. 
you'll have five loops that remain. Yarn over, go through all five, chain one, and then single crochet into the next stitch. And that's what we're gonna repeat for all the way across for row one. We are gonna chain three again, and double crochet four together across over the next four stitches. One, two, three, there's four, five loops on my hook, yarn over, go through all five, chain one and then single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. All right, when you come to the end here, you should be able to finish a complete repeat. So I just did my last double crochet four together. I'm gonna chain one. You should have one stitch left to go ahead and single crochet into that last stitch. And that'll end row one. And you should have a total of 22 of these uh, double crochet four together uh, cluster things. So she'll have four or 22 of those. I'm sorry. Okay, now we're going to start row two. So rows two and three are the repeat rows for the whole blanket. So it's just a two row repeat. So for row two, we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn our work. And we are going to single crochet into the top of our next little uh, double crochet four together. So in the top of it, which is right here, that's the chain one. This is the top of the cluster. Single crochet right into that. Now we're going to start the repeat for row two. We're going to start by chaining three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do a double crochet four together into the next chain space. So right here into this next space, we'll do double crochet four together. So it's the same that we thing that we just did down here, except for we're just doing it all into the chain space. So we're going to yarn over go in to the space and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. And we want to do that four times all into the same space. So again, that's two, there's three, there's four, Five loops on my hook, yarn over and go through all five, chain one, and then we're going to do a single crochet into the top of the next four, double crochet four together. So right here, right there in that space, the top of that. Single crochet. Just like that. And then we repeat again. We start by chain and three and we do a double crochet four together into that next chain space right here go right through the space double crochet four together that was one two three Four, five loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all five, chain one, and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet four together. So right there. And that's what we're going to repeat for row two. Start again by chaining three. 
double crochet four together right here into the next chain space five loops yarn over go through all five chain one and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet four together so right there so I'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row that's what it starts to look like okay I'm coming to the end here I did a single crochet into my last double crochet three together or four together right there now I'm going to chain three again and in this chain space I'm going to do a double crochet four together into that last chain space I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to put a double crochet right here in this last stitch here it's kind of it's kind of your turn chain there the last stitch double crochet like that and that will end row two and you should still have a total of 22 of these double crochet four together Okay, for row three, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to single crochet in this very first stitch. And then we are going to single crochet into the top of the next double crochet four together. So right there, we just single crochet into that. And now we will start the repeat for row three by chaining three and then we're going to do our double crochet four together into this chain space right here into the next chain space so Yarn over, go through all five loops, chain one, and then we will single crochet into the top of our next double crochet four together. So this stitch right here, right there into the top of it, single crochet, like that. And then we, re we repeat again. We start by chaining three, one, two, three, double crochet four together right here into the next chain space. five loops yarn over go through all five chain one and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet four together just like that and that's what we're going to repeat for row three so we start again by chaining three and double crochet four together right here into the next chain space Got five loops, yarn over, go through all five, chain one, and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet four together. So I'm going to keep repeating this pattern until I get to the end of the row. That's what it's kind of starting to look like. Okay, when you come coming to the end, I just did my uh, double crochet four together right here in this last in this uh, second to the last chain space right here. And I chained one. I'm going to end row three by just putting a single crochet into this last chain five space. Just right through the space like that and single crochet. And that's how you end row three. And you still should have a total of 22 of the double crochet four togethers. So that's it. You're just going to keep repeating rows two and three 
So for row four, it's just a repeat of row two, and that's where we chained five, turned our work, and then we put a single crochet into the top of our next double crochet, four together, and then we started the repeat by chaining three and double crochet four together into the next chain space. So we're just going to keep repeating rows two and three until you get the blanket, the length that you want it to be. I did repeat rows two and three until I had a total of 60 rows starting from row one. So just continue repeating two and three until you get a total of 60 rows. And then I'll meet back up with you and we will uh, go around the edges and clean up all the edges. So two and three until you get a total of 60 rows. Okay, once you get your 60 rows done, now remember you can do more if you want. Don't tie off. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go around the whole piece with single crochet to clean up all the edges. So I just ended there with a single crochet in that last chain space. So what I'm going to do now is chain one. Now this doesn't have to be exact. The amount of stitches that we have going around doesn't really matter. It doesn't, the stitch count doesn't affect the way it's going to look out here, work out here. So just do your best to try to evenly space out single crochet down the side. So what I'm going to do is in this chain space here, I'm going to work three single crochets. And then in this single crochet here that you see next, see it right here? I kind of go right through the side of it and I'm gonna work one single crochet. And then the next chain space, I'm gonna work three single crochets. And in this next single crochet here, just go kind of right through the side of it and work one single crochet. And then the next space, I'll work three singles. And then this space right here, the single here on the end, go right through it and work one. The next chain space, three singles. Now you, remember, this doesn't, you don't have to do it exactly like me, just as long as you get your single crochets kind of evenly spaced down the side. And then one through the side here. And then three singles into this space right here. And we're going to repeat this all the way down this side until we get to the first corner. See how that kind of cleans up the edges a bit? So we're going to repeat that all the way down until we get down here to this first corner and that's where I'll meet you and then we'll round the corner and continue. So I'm going to work down that long side and I'll meet back up with you right here at this spot. All right, I've made it down here to the corner and this is kind of what the edges are looking like. Just looking to make them look cleaner. Okay. So I did my single crochet into that single crochet there and now we're going to work across the top here. You'll probably be able to see your stitches a little bit better. But what I'm going to do in that first stitch right here, I'm going to put three single crochets in it. And that kind of just helps round the corner a little bit. So I'm going to put three into that very first stitch. And then I'm going to continue putting one single crochet here in every stitch across. Should be able to see pretty well where your stitches need to go on this bottom part here. Remember, it doesn't have to be exact. Just kind of do your best to evenly space them out if you can't, if you're having trouble seeing where they need to go for, for sure. Just go ahead and work across the bottom here until you get to the next corner, and that's where I'll meet you.
just like that. So one single on every stitch across this bottom part until we get to this next corner. And I'll meet you right up over here. All right, I made it to the next corner. And remember, we're just doing the best we can to kind of evenly space out our, out our stitches. So go ahead and put three single crochets into the last stitch here. And now we're going to be working up alongside again. So we're going to do it the same way we did the other side. So here's a single crochet. Kind of go through it. Put one single crochet. And this space right here, we will put three single crochets. And then right here, just kind of go through one of these little spots and put a single crochet. And this space here, three single crochets. So kind of this similar to the other other side. And then right here at the end of this row. And remember, you don't have to do it exactly like me if you feel there's a better way to evenly space them out to your liking. That's fine. Three there. One into the next space. Three here. And then kind of one in the next space. And we're going to do this in three into the next all the way up this side until we get to our next corner. Like that. So all the way up until we get up to here. And I'll meet you right up here. All right, I've made it up here to this top corner. Um, I put a single crochet there in that side stitch. And then we got this chain space here. What I'm gonna do is work five single crochet into that space. I'm just gonna try to get it to round the corner a little bit better, like that. And then I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch across the top. Do the best you can to try to getting every stitch and then in this chain space here across the top there'll be these chain spaces I'm gonna work two single crochets in each of those and then I'm gonna continue to put one single crochet in each of the stitches across the top I know sometimes it's hard to tell I'll put two there where they need to go so it doesn't have to be exact And then two in this space here. So you just want to continue to work this across the top until you get back to your starting point. All right, I made it to my last stitch over here at the end. Here's my starting point. I'm going to go ahead and put three single crochets into the last stitch. And then I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first single crochet that we did. Now, I'm not going to count my stitches because, like I said, it's not that important. As long as you kind of just try to do your best as evenly spacing your stitches out. Now, you can be done if you want. I'm going to clip this off and then I'm going to... Uh, use some I'm gonna go around it one more time with some white and with a row of single crochet just a white you don't have to do that if you don't want to but so make sure the right side of your work is facing you the right side would be that row of single crochet that you just did make sure it's facing facing you right side of it's facing you this is the right side of it you can see that's the back side. So you can start anywhere you want if you decide to do this. I'm just going to start kind of in a corner somewhere. Now we're not going to put in any more stitches in the corner. It's just one single crochet in every stitch around. So I'm going to start by chaining one. I'm going to go into that same stitch and single crochet. 
And now I'm just going to work around my entire piece putting one single crochet in every stitch. That's it. Nothing special when you get to the corners. It's just the same. One single crochet in every stitch. And this part is optional if you want to do it. So just like this, I'm going to continue around my whole entire piece, just putting one single crochet in every stitch. Like that. And remember, when you get to the corners, there's nothing special you need to do. You don't have to put three in one stitch. You just one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you get back to your starting point. All right, I have made it back to my starting point, and all I did was I just slip stitched into my first single crochet, and now I'm going to clip my yarn, and then I'm going to hide that tail, and then that will be it. That's all there is to it. This is a simple crochet, uh, single crochet border, but I think it turned out really nice. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial and you like the way the blanket looks, if you give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe. If you look up in the left-hand corner of the screen right now, you see a picture of my face. You can click on that face and then you'll be subscribed and you won't miss any of my videos. And then if you look over there to the right, I put a playlist of some other baby blankets that I've tutorials that I've made in case you're interested in checking them out. But that's it. And until next time, have a good day.